guys, my name is Koketo, preferably known as Kanin K, and welcome to Keeping Up with Kanin K, which is a personal diary of mine. Before we go, anyway, if you would like to unpack more pages of my life with me, please subscribe, hit that notifications bell, like this video, and comment on anything you're interested in. And to the MVPs, the Keeping Up with Kanin K community members, welcome back, babies. I love you guys so so much as you can see by the title of this video this is a get to know me slash q a part two because initially i did a part one last year please go check it out so i just felt like let me finish it off you know um so you guys can get to know me thoroughly but i do believe through my past videos um the vlogs and the couple of sit downs that i have you have grasped like who Gugeta is and what she's all about, you know. So this is just to finish it off. And yeah, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Um, so I have 12 questions that I will answer. I asked on my Instagram. And some of them I just added because it's just maybe things I'd like to speak on about myself. So first things first, what are you studying? Okay, I am a law student. I'm studying Bachelor of Laws, LLB, right? Um, I feel like I've never disclosed that. Like, you guys just heard maybe in my life update video, whereas I was like, I'm working with a law firm, you know, and I never actually said I'm a law student. So, yeah, guys, I'm a law student, you know, legal professional in the making and stuff. So, yeah, pretty exciting things. Yeah, go check out my life update video just to know more about, like, how my career is advancing when it hasn't even begun you know and i'm just a student so yeah um secondly what's your favorite physical feature mm, my dimple okay <laughs> i only have one so i'm unique like that so yeah my dimple is literally my favorite physical feature i think this is why i'm always laughing or smiling i'm bubbly because i know you're gonna see what's happening right here whether you like it or not that's on par okay the next question what is your biggest heartbreak <sighs> damn okay okay basically my biggest heartbreak is not even centered around the person's doings in the relationship or the encounter we had it's just after things were ended and just when you're moving on and you're trying to heal and as i was reflecting i realized that like if he wants to he will you know and i never believed in that until like i saw the specific person in a relationship with somebody else and them stepping up and doing the things i used to yearn for so much you know for him and i and just beg honestly so to see him doing the bare minimum for someone so effortlessly and i had to like beg for that and just it became toxic just from just lack of I don't know lack of everything you know so seeing that the person can actually step up can actually do the things they said they don't want to do not actually they didn't even say they don't want to do they could do the things they said they couldn't do so it's like you just didn't want to so i think that's just the biggest heartbreak just reflecting and realizing that okay he just didn't want to he just didn't want to say it basically and yeah it only took so long for me to realize but <laughs> it's fine you know it's it's okay it's okay um the next question what's the best thing your bestie has done for you um okay it's nothing tangible i'll base it more on abstract um i think it's just my best friend being there for me showing up at all times um yeah because i think about all the happy moments i have in my life or have had and the sad moments she's always been there so i think the best thing she's done for me was just being there for me and showing me like what a friend is you know what i mean so because i don't know or well, prior i didn't really know what friendship was I only i knew friendship through her because she's literally my first first friend so yeah shout out to her shout out to her um next question what turns me on Hmm. Okay. I think this is a common one. A guy who smells good. Baby boy, if you smell good, comment down below and let me know. <laughs> I'm joking, but like, guys, a guy must smell good. Like, in the must he must smell, smell good. Like, he must smell good. Hmm. What else turns me on? <sighs> let me think. A guy who's 
who can like emotionally he's and intellectually he's here yeah that turns me on i love a guy like that oh like yes baby tell me how you feel yes baby like let's talk about like you know ukraine and the war and like let's let's delve into that <laughs> but yeah okay next question what really makes you angry um yo the one thing that pisses me off is well i don't know if it's something i get angry with with myself or the other parties you know that i've had like fallouts with but more than anything if i've been good to you and you just decide to just disregard that and treat me like shit yeah that makes me angry like that makes me livid more than anything at some point I, I there's just some sort of hatred that grows but that's just not me over time i let it go but yeah that really makes me angry when someone just doesn't value how good i was to them because i believe someone's actions guys really do tell you how they feel about you so yeah that's one thing that makes me angry i won't call it getting used but just yeah that <laughs> um what is your favorite family vacation hmm oh, my family and i guys we've we've been to bumalanga we've been to sun city twice we've been to zimbali we've been to garden route which is in the western cape we've been to cape town which is in the western cape i've been to Vela Vela, which is in limpopo um okay my favorite <laughs> damn I was in Cape Town. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed Cape Town. I, but in Pumalanga, I in Pumalanga was amazing. In Pumalanga was beautiful, guys. In Pumalanga, if you want to travel in South Africa, go to Pumalanga. Go to Pumalanga. Go to, like, um, where is that place? Where were we? Pilgrim's Rest. Pilgrim's Rest. I think that's where we were. Pilgrim's Rest. Go there, guys. Mm. Cape Town. You guys, Cape Town is like Europe or South Africa. So those are my top two. I can't decide between the two. So Cape Town and bumalanga so that's my favorite family vacation and go check out my travel vlogs the garden route one part one and part two and the cape town one please go view it now after this okay and like and share if you can mm -hmm. um next question if you could live anywhere where would it be mm, the united states of america yeah, I know it says anywhere in USA. I mean, yeah, I want to live in the United States of America. I want to live in Calabasas where the Kardashians live. Guys, you know it's so wild how, as South Africans, we know America got a lot of people in New York. Okay, super cool. Los Angeles was super cool. But yeah, United States of America. Yeah. Next question. What are your friendship deal breakers? Ooh, I have a few. I have a few. I have a few. First one, dishonesty. Yo, don't lie. As a friend, yo, do not lie. Yo, about serious things, don't lie, guys. Don't lie. Don't lie about me. You see, if you lie about me, uh, then we're going to have a problem. Don't lie about me. Secondly, weird competitiveness. Like, why are we competing? We're friends like let's not compete with friends relax yeah yeah just those are my top two and disloyalty yo three actually three disloyalty guys you as a friend if you can't be loyal to me yo yo i'm gonna say oh ngani my sega girl we can find other friends so those are my top three friendship deal breakers okay next question how many languages do you speak I am a multilingual babe. Okay, a fine multilingual babe. Right. Um, obviously, my home language, Sibiri. English, Afrikaans by default. I, like, I know Afrikaans by default because school. Um, Zulu, I know Zulu very well, actually. You'd swear I'm Zulu and I'm not. Um, what else? Yeah, those are my top four. That's what I know. But I want to learn, what's this? I want to learn Nigerian, like Nigeria. I don't know what language they speak in Nigeria, but that. Because guys, Nigerian men are where it's at. Yeah. Ah, uh, fitness. I got broke my business. Ah, but it's for 
I'm just joking. But yeah, I want to learn like Nigerian language. I don't know. It just sounds so nice. So intriguing. And also, I live in Sunnyside. And Sunnyside is Lagos. Literally, Sunnyside is Lagos or Lagos. So, yeah. Those are the languages that I speak. And I'm proficient in all of them, by the way. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. So, yeah. Next question. What is one thing you will never do again? I don't have many regrets in life, nah. But this one. Mm, one thing I'll never do, like consciously, and I know that Koketo, yeah, you have to make a decision and you must make it now. You have a choice. Um, getting involved with a, an emotionally unavailable guy. I cannot do that again. Such a person is not compatible to the kind of person I am. And I'm not saying there's something wrong with being emotionally unavailable. But I feel like, no. Yeah, no, it's not for me. For someone like me, yeah. I know I can't. Yo, that thing will yo, it will demolish you. It will take away parts of yourself that you didn't know existed, but now you know that you need them because you're building your, yourself back up. So I can't. Yeah, that's something I'll never do again. I'm done with guys who are just emotionally unavailable. Like if you can't get your emotions in check, if you can't communicate them, if you don't even know what they are and how to express them. I mean, I don't know if I'm open to even teaching someone how to do that. Cause for me, it's like. I have been raped. Old me could do that, but new me, nah, I can't do that. And last but not least, I don't know if this video is long or short. I don't know, I just tend to feel like my videos are short. I don't know why. But anyways, last but not least, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Sheesh. 10 years, I'll be 30, by the way. I just turned 20, like, less than a month ago. So, 30... Hmm. More than anything, yo, sorry, more than anything, I see myself at peace. Yeah, living a peaceful life. And living a peaceful life comes with like fulfillment, joy, contentness, being wholesome. So it, being at peace will bring a lot to the plate um, that I don't even have to work towards. Uh, secondly, okay, a legal professional, a lawyer, yes, obviously I see myself as a lawyer. Um... And more than anything, with like my knowledge of law and applying it and whatsoever, I want to make an impact, you know what I mean? And not let it just be a job that I studied for and I'm just applying it and getting money at the end of the month or whatsoever. But I really want to make an impact because there's matters like GBV, guys. And as a woman in South Africa, it's very worrying. And as a woman who works in the law and applies it and gbv needs the law you know to what's the sanction perpetrators and all of that so i wish to make a difference in that aspect specifically you know um i think i will be uh, content that you know i tried i tried my best you know although the problem is the perpetrators you know men need to do better but from someone who is within you know the like justice system i will try my best to do better and yeah i, I, I don't know I think my friend and I have spoke about this in passing, actually. Um, and we were like, yeah, friend, like, do pro bono work for, like, girls who've been raped, you know, assaulted and all of that. Hopefully, like, an outcome would come out of that. But, yeah. Um, next thing, being a well, like, well, I don't know well what, but, like, being YouTuber, yeah. I don't know how to put that in English. YouTuber, like... Guys, I really see myself doing something with YouTube. Um, and I always tell my friends, numbers don't mean anything to me. So even if it takes me literally 10 years, which is 30, to get to 10K subscribers, I am okay with that. Like, YouTube, man, there's just something about YouTube. There's just something about YouTube, you know. Um, and, like, people always ask me, doesn't it tie you edit? I'm like, girl, I get so excited when I'm editing. I'm like, Phew, people are going to see this, this part of me. So, like, it really gets me amped up. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I just see myself being the best vision of my uh, see myself being the best vision of myself and i know this is quite cliche but to be quite honest when you are the best vision of yourself you spill that into so many aspects of your life and that helps to like improve all aspects to however way you want them to be so yeah guys that is it from me i hope you guys got to know me a little better mm -hmm. um and i believe as we grow in this community of Canon K, you know, you guys will know me a bit better. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye.